Led into court, handcuffed and heavily guarded, 21-year-old Jared Smith Bracey is charged with taking the lives of his grandparents, brother, and a family friend. February 22nd, police arrived after getting almost a dozen 911 calls about gunfire at the Melanie Loop home. Inside the home, Leonard Smith was found at the foot of his bed, bludgeoned to death. In the backyard, Barbara Smith, Sheila Glover, and Jeremy Smith were shot and bludgeoned to death. Smith Bracey found hiding in the woods behind the home within minutes of police arriving at the house. Police also recovered 12 shell casings in the backyard and a Glock 9mm. During testimony, investigator Jason Vinoy said initially Smith Bracey claimed that he was a victim, but later confessed saying, quote, I had to get them before they got me. His defense attorney, Thomas Pilcher, arguing there was some sort of mental disease or defect that led to the quadruple murder. We believe that coming to right now, there was a break in his normal behavior. I think you heard that today. There were, there were family members that said he was normal. This was absent, his normal behavior. Prosecutor Teresa Hines is not so sure. I have nothing in my case file that suggests that he has any kind of mental disease or defect. And until I do, he is absolutely responsible for his criminal conduct. Smith Bracey never said a word during the hearing, nor made eye contact with his mother as he was led back to the Baldwin County Jail where he's being held without bond. A request by the defense for a mental evaluation for Smith Bracey was delayed by the judge. The case now goes to a Baldwin County grand jury. On the Baldwin County Beat in Bay Manette, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.